Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 and back with another video. And today I want to talk about three guys that I think may be surprise cuts that aren't going to be on this roster come week one. Let's talk about it right now. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody about me. All right, so three guys that I think are going to be surprise casualties when we get down to the nitty gritty 53 man roster. First guy may or may not be a surprise to some of you guys. Some of you guys might question how is he still on the roster after two years of average play, and that's offensive lineman Vlad Dukas. Now, as everybody knows, Vlad Dukas was brought in in 2017, average lineman. 2018, average lineman. But Vlad Dukas was one of our best run blockers. If you guys like PFF, check out his PFF grade. It was the highest last season, believe it or not. But I think with all the additions that Brandon Beans brought in, all these guys fighting, I think that one of the odd man out is going to be Vlad Dukas. So I think Vlad Dukas, cut number one. So moving on, this one might surprise some of you guys. Defensive end, a defensive end. Who could it be? Who could it be? I'm going to go with Eddie Yarbrough. I think that Eddie Arbor just doesn't have enough in the pass rush game. Eddie Arbor is a very serviceable guy, very good in a rotational um, performance play. But I think that Eddie Arbor just doesn't make the cut. We got Shaq Lawson, we got Trent Murphy, we got Jerry Hughes. I just don't think that there's going to be enough guys on the way the Bills are going to line up this 53-man roster for Eddie Arbor to make the squad. Surprise cut number two, defensive end, Eddie Arbor. Now this one is going to be good you guys may may not agree with this one this is one that i thought might have happened before the 2018 season but it didn't happen so i think that this is going to happen in 2019 before the season starts fullback patrick demarco all you're doing is taking up a roster spot now let's dig a little deeper into why patrick demarco has probably still been on this roster very good in the locker room very good in the community very good relationship with sean mcdermott he's a veteran we get that but patrick demarco only played 16 percent of the offensive snaps last year the bills brought in a slew of tight ends that can be serviceable for run blocking patrick demarco has not lived up to the performance that he had with the atlanta falcons when he was brought in as a free agent different offenses i get that but he's taking up a roster spot now if you want to talk about special teams patrick demarco played over half the special team snaps last year so that's something that the bills are going to have to have someone that's just as good or equally better in special teams that's devoted to playing that you know have that key role in special teams so i think that there's just too much going on with the way the bills want to build their roster i do think they're going to keep four running backs and I just don't think there's room on the roster for Patrick DeMarco. Great guy, was a co-captain last year. I get all that. But in today's NFL, there's just not a place for a fullback when you have blocking tight ends. So with that being said, my three guys that I don't think are going to be on this roster, offensive lineman Vlad Dukas, defensive end Eddie Yarborough, and fullback Patrick DeMarco. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed to the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 7,000. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. And if you're watching on Facebook, you know what I do. I'm DM3. Like it, share it, comment. And if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, if you think I'm blowing smoke, if you think I'm crazy, if you agree, awesome, cool. I'm DM3. I'm out.